if you're using your CIS manager and you've brought in correct footprint names and you know everything in your CIS database has a, a PCB footprint already built and approved and it, it's a good valid thing, when you do your place quick place, you get zero down here every single time. If you're working and we're doing this fudge thing where we've got some things from CIS, some things from else, and some things we built, and, and some things we just put in TBD on, it can take a long time to get down to zero, depending on how big and how complex the board is. So CIS is a really handy tool in order to make sure you get into your layout faster. It's the same thing with ORCAD. If you got the right PCB footprint names, it goes in much smoother than if you have bad PCB footprint names. Okay, so go ahead and close this because we know which ones we're going to build. So we have to find or build three parts. So first one to look for is this 0603. So what I like to do because these licenses are set up to be able to allow you to open more than one Allegro at a time is I will iconize this guy just go ahead and make him small. Which one? The way up over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. And let's get down so we can start a new Allegro. And let's open another one. So now we've got two of them open at the same time. If you've got licensing problems where if you open two on your machine, you're using up two licenses and you've only got four in the company, you could be in trouble. So that's a pain. Um. Why, is it, why did it pull it in? Because we didn't save the board, so it doesn't know that it's got all the other parts placed. Can they have independent boards open? Yeah. Okay. So what we want to do now is open, file open. And instead of birds, we want to go to draws. And let's go into the Allegro library. And let's see if we can find an inductor 0603. Is there anything that starts in Dr. or L0603? Okay, so we don't have an L0603. But the difference between a resistor 0603 and an inductor 0603 is height only, right? <coughs> so let's take any 0603. Can we find a R0603 or C0603 or O603, anything like that? RC. RC0603? Okay, we got a generic O603. So let's grab that. And there it is. This particular one happened to have been converted from um, from ORCAD. Yeah, either or. It really doesn't make that much difference. So what we want to do now is do file save as and call it L0603. And save. We want to change the height attribute because this 0603 is not the height of our inductor 0603. So our inductor 0603 is 0.08 high inches. Mm -hmm. Select the shape. So the minimum height is um, 80 mils and the maximum height is 80 mils. So, uh, why doesn't it show what that is to begin with? Well, if you go into query, you could see what it was. It probably doesn't exist, because when we clicked on this and there were no numbers that already popped up, that meant it didn't have the prop attribute on it to begin with. Then if you type 80 mil, it should convert it to millimeters when you... MIL. Yeah. Now go over here to do the done. Mm 